So uh, this is the shed that's uh, coming out. And if we look inside, I don't know if the light is any good. If you can see, the floor has disappeared in several places. It's, it's paper thin. It's completely collapsed and gone here. And over here in this corner and over here. Now this shed has stood for the best part of 20 years so I've had my money's worth from it. Uh, it's been a home to several wasps nests which I've cleaned out uh, when they occur. Um, I can probably save the shed if I want to right because it's only it's only bolted together here and down there and similarly there. The corner may have rotted away. I don't know, I haven't made a decision, but I've got nowhere to put it, even if I do. So it's coming out along with its base, which has completely rotted away, and um, which would have to be replaced in favor of the new shed. And the new shed is uh, going on those nine concrete pads. Some of this concrete will have to come up and just get um, set on compacted ground as a concrete block. And then uh, all tunnelized foundation timbers will be going on top of that. And it will come out almost as far as where my foot is here. So that's an extra four feet. And it will come out an extra three feet this away and be as tall as the apex there from side to side and that's the plan so the site's uh, it's a bit the shed's been emptied i've got my uh, um, my scaffold tower nestled here in this little arbor i've got my motor mower and my um, three and a half kilowatt generator under cover there uh, various bits and pieces to be uh, junked when it's all over and I've got a big skip um, and that's as far as we've got today um, my labourer arrives tonight and I'll feed him and uh, give him a bed for tonight and we start in earnest tomorrow tearing down the shed the pair of us and then uh, Tuesday the materials arrive so in the meantime we get the shed down uh, the base blocks laid out in their formation and leveled uh, and that should uh, be enough for the one day I would think. Well, we'll see how we go.